you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're met with a real challenge, okay? Because I'm a 23 year old girl and I cannot do my own hair. I can't French braid, I can't curl it. I can take a flat iron to it actually, I can do that. But anything that requires actual skill, I'm not good at. I've been using this Revlon for a couple of years and my hair is achy breaky hard, like shit's broken, okay? And then last year, I bought the shark. I bought the shark, I bought all the attachments, I spent hundreds of dollars, used it twice, and I looked like I had a rat's nest on my head. Like, I thought these things were supposed to be dummy proof. I'm clearly, clearly proving that not to be true. Um, but today, I think I have found something that is easy and will give me that natural, bouncy blowout that I'm looking for. I was influenced by Acquired Style on, I think this was TikTok, I saw her post this. Um, I got it on Amazon, I think on sale for maybe like 80 bucks, which I thought was reasonable if it gives me the right results. It's the titanium, no, K&K &K Professional Electric Scalding Comb. Scalding? That doesn't sound good. But it's pink, so that's a plus. I've spent so much money on hair stuff over the years. I just want something that's easy and gives me a natural bouncy blowout. Is that too much for a girl to ask? Come on. <sighs> oh my god. Well, we're not returning it, that's for sure. I don't know what hand you're supposed to put that on. Oh, it came with instructions. A little how-to for a lift in volume, for smooth and straight, for a classic blowout. That's what I want. What is this for? This looks like those little combs. Like, you know how, you know, kind of like how hippies have those little sand plates in their house? Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh my god, I'm gonna use all my battery just trying to open this box. Oh, we got it, we got it. Whew. This is my favorite leave in conditioner. Can you say? Oh my god, I've always wanted to do that on YouTube to be like, um, here's my, here's my leave in conditioner. Can you say? It's the Sol de Janeiro Milky Leave in conditioner girl i use about like honestly like 15 or 20 squirts i use a lot mm, it smells so good just kind of rub that through the ends my favorite hairbrush i've had for probably three years well i keep buying new ones but the same brush it's the wet brush but it's the paddle one not the round one do you hear that breakage yeah love that love that I can hear my laptop that I accidentally left on in the other room literally cycling through YouTube videos because I'm addicted to YouTube. That's that's the problem I'm not that worried about though. I haven't had any coffee yet today. I don't know how I have so much energy. It's like one o'clock. I went to the gym this morning and honestly, I'm like, let's go. Oh my God, I made a smoothie and I left it downstairs. I'm gonna go get that real quick. Okay, we're back. I got my smoothie and I got some cookie dough because Mmm, I am on a cookie dough kick. Okay, back to business. I just realized I don't even own a hair dryer. I literally, I found this in our guest bedroom. I couldn't even find my mom's. Like, I don't, I don't even know how to dry my hair. Oh my god, when I was flipped over, I was doing it and I just like took a peek into the hair dryer and I saw a spark and it shot out of my face. I gotta keep going though. Oh. Okay, my hair is like 90% dry, I feel like that's good. I just went to the salon this week and got my hair cut actually, which is what's inspiring me to figure out how to do my hair because I actually love the cut and I wanna figure out how to style it. And what I ask for is I get angled in the front. You can kind of see here, but they're super long angles. I don't like the curtain bangs because I feel like they're a lot to maintain. Well, I like them on other people, but I'm lazy. And then in the back, I just get really long layers. I just don't like that straight across cut. I have this heat styling spray, Kendra Thermal Styling Spray number 19. This is the one my friend Jenna told me to get and she is that girl, so I trust her. Can we say? I like don't know how much to use. Oh, I feel like that was too much. Maybe I should just put it in my hands. 
I feel like I should probably section it, right? Isn't that what the girls do? I don't even know why I'm doing this today because I have to wear my hair in a high pony for my Halloween costume tonight. So whatever results I get, going to waste. I'm being Quinn Fabre from Glee and Jenna's being Santana. We bought the Cheerio costumes. I'm so excited. I grew up a huge Gleek. That is, is probably not surprising to anybody. Last night, actually, I tried to um, put Valerie, the Glee version, obviously, on the Touch Tunes machine, paid extra money so that it would be up next never came on so the touch tunes on the second floor of Magellan's right I just remembered last night when my uber driver picked me up I always lie I always lie to uber drivers and he's like oh what do you do for work and I was like I'm a tax analyst and he goes oh great you can help me because I don't know what to do about my online gambling money I make sixty thousand dollars a year online gambling and I don't know how to report it I was like oh I think you're good I don't think you have to report anything definitely not true Okay. This literally smells like a casino. I'm gonna watch, actually, I'm gonna watch Bridget's video and see what she did. Okay, the key looks to be when you're taking it out, you gotta spin the brush. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna start with a piece this size. Is that too big? The girlies are twisting. Twisting. Oh, yikes. Twist, 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 twist. Oh my god. Oh my god, my hair. Oh! Like, does that look good? Okay, wait, that kind of looks good. Oh my god, you guys can't even see because my hair is so long. Twist, pull. Oh! Oh, that didn't look good. Okay. I feel like there's a lot of user error involved here. I'm gonna give the brush some credit. Like, that doesn't, that's, that's not right. I didn't. Okay, I would say smaller pieces is definitely better. Ow! Oh my god. Oh, and before anyone says, you need to use hair curlers, I tried the hair curlers. Not good. I need an actual sit down tutorial from Bridget to be like, Katie, do this. Like, this is how you do it. I tried the YouTube videos. I need someone to actually do it on my hair to see. I'm not good at following t tutorials. <laughs> curious about the front pieces the most so let's see like these are the ones I like to be super super bouncy again like I'm not gonna say there's not user error involved just because I'm stupid oh okay that's good okay here is the finished product I feel like it's definitely better than the Revlon if I spent a little bit more time on it I probably could have gotten even more curls at the end, but I honestly do like these. I'm scared to look at the back. I'm really scared, because I feel like I missed a lot. Is it bad? Is it good? You guys have to tell me. Actually, don't tell me. It doesn't even matter how the back looks, because if I can't see it, it literally doesn't matter. Oh, I like these. Wait, yeah, okay, wait, no, this feels really good. Paul Mitchell, flexible style, super clean spray. Invitation is still open if anybody wants to teach me how to use rollers, but for right now, I would say this is this is worth 15 minutes of your time. And I do believe this was like $80. I will link it in my storefront um, for everybody if you're interested, but 15 minutes, and this is me, an amateur, who has no idea how to do their hair, a win. Let's see if my mom likes it. Mom, come here. Come here. I did my hair. Okay. Have you ever seen my hair this bouncy? Oh, I love it. Isn't it so good? Yeah, what did you use? This, the K&K. &K. Uh, can I use it on my hair? Oh um, yeah, I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. You are gonna be like, oh wait, it's so cute, can I use it? Yeah, you can use it. No, I love how it shows off your layers. I know, I, I really, I feel like it did give really good for 15 minutes. Your hair looks blonder too. Is that I knew you were gonna say that. Everybody always says when I straighten it that it looks blonder. It does. I, for 15 minutes, this is, this is good. I almost feel like I could do more layers. Is your though. hair dry? It was like 90% dry and then I, what did I do? I put heat protector. Oh wait, did you use my hair dryer? Yeah. You shouldn't, it's, it's. Yeah, it sparked in my face. Yeah, and that's why I said I have to get a new hair dryer. You should be. <laughs> I was like this though, I was like this, bent over a side, and then I look in it and all of a sudden a spark just shoots yeah. in my face. I was like, uh. yeah. That, 
it's dangerous. Wait, I love this. I love it too. Oh my god. And you just made that commitment that you were just going to go natural with your hair. When did I say that? I saw it somewhere. Liar. No, I said, um... You did. You said, um, I'm going to... This, this is, is natural. natural. This is natural. It's natural. <laughs> 15 minutes bouncy blowout for... This was, I, I think it was like 80, I will link it. I would say for a girl who really is not good at doing her hair. What? Does the air go on or something? Like is it? No, it j you just like, oh, I unplugged it. It just like, you turn it on and it's just like a. Um, it's not hot air. It's like a curler, yeah. Huh. There's no air. Love it. I highly recommend. And I'm gonna keep trying to do more things with my hair, but I feel like this is a good start. I feel really good, I feel really good about this. Sorry, I, I, I no, everyone's done. Everyone's like, yeah, we get it, it worked. Good job, it worked, good job. Okay, see you guys next time.